the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, and in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Silence for Garland and Gladys Hudson, for whom the Mass is being offered. O oh God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, to the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow we pray with the spirit of wisdom those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Good morning to our YouTube family, and we're glad you can celebrate Mass with us today. Now let's open up our Bibles, our missalettes, and our hearts, and listen to the Word of God. Our reading from Corinthians, chapter 3, 18 through 23. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool, so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings for everything belongs to you, Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death, or the present or the future. All belong to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response from the song. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountains of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To, to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord and reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Glory to you, O Lord. 
For the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God. He was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out, your, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a simple man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. He said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they brought their hope boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pope Gregory the Great renewed the church, and we need a renewal in our church today. We pray that all of us will become missionary, intentional disciples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So many people dealing with the coronavirus, dealing with cancer, dealing with heart disease and other catastrophic illnesses. We lift up in prayer of all the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of all people traveling by sea, land, or air, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked for special prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pause now and thank God for this day and its opportunities and ask God to answer all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed are you, Lord forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and God of his holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosened the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life, for you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence are even now at work in our midst. With mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel to the desert. Now as your church makes a pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Today, to help us appreciate the great gift of the Eucharist, I'd like to take a quote from St. Cyprian of Carthage. He was born in the year 200, and this is what he said. In the priest Melchizedek, we see the sacrament of the sacrifice of the Lord prefigured. The order certainly is that which comes from Melchizedek's sacrifice and which comes down from it. Because Melchizedek was a priest of the Most High God, because he offered bread, and because he blessed Abraham, and who is more a priest of the Most High God than our Lord Jesus Christ, 
For when he offered the sacrifice to God the Father, offered the very same which Melchizedek had offered, namely bread and wine, which is in fact his body and blood. If Christ Jesus our Lord and God is himself the high priest of God the Father, and if he offered himself as a sacrifice to the Father, and if he commanded that this be done in commemoration of himself, then certainly the priest who imitates that which Christ did truly functions in place of Christ. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, when, and when, as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Louis our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Gregory, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you kept away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for safe for everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Through Christ the teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.